It is the sordid sex scandal that has turned a quiet New England coastal town upside down. And at the center, an exercise instructor charged with using her Latin-themed fitness studio as a front for a bustling prostitution ring, whose detailed list of alleged clients named the names of over 100 local men. Now her alleged business partner is feeling the heat, and tonight for the first time, he speaks out. The ABC's John Schriffen. This small, picturesque New England town, just a few miles from the summer compound of the first President Bush, is at the unlikely center of a white-hot sex scandal. Authorities claim this seemingly legitimate Zumba dance studio run by this woman, 30-year-old Alexis Wright, was actually a front for a prostitution ring used by more than 150 men, some of them prominent members of this tight-knit community. I thought she was a little, I don't know, not risque, but a little flirtatious at times with uh, a couple of the male um, participants of the class. But I mean, it's Zumba. You're just in there to have fun. The scandal unraveled this past fall when Kennebunk police raided the Pura Vida dance studio and a nearby office, confiscating detailed records, hours of videotape, and what's now known as the list. Names of alleged clients police are making public. Today, the man accused of bankrolling the studio, charged with 59 counts of promoting prostitution and invasion of privacy, is telling his side of the story for the first time days before his upcoming trial. We had a friendship. We talked often. Um, I may see her once a month. Married for more than 30 years and a father of two, local insurance agent Mark Strong Sr. admits he co-signed the lease and gave right a loan for her Zumba studio. And he says they had a sexual relationship. Never became romantic. We did have intimate moments. But it's not what I would consider romantic. It was just physical? It was strictly physical. How many times were you physical with her? <laughs> I, I don't know. Did you ever pay her for an encounter? No. Did you pay her for anything, a massage? No. It never got to that point? No. No, we were friends. The indictment also alleges that Wright secretly recorded over 100 hours of video with her clients, something Strong denies knowing about. He denies any wrongdoing. Strong is not the only one. Kennebunk police have released a blotter on their website documenting arrests, complete with names, ages, and home addresses. More than 100 men and at least one woman thought to be clients of rights. And today we sat down with two attorneys representing 21 of the 66 already charged with being rights clients. People's lives have been turned upside down over this, and they've been turned upside down from the start, from the time that their names have been put in a, in a police blotter which is evidence of nothing. It's merely an allegation, but the mere allegation here has been enough to smear people's reputations. To play devil's advocate here, the guy went looking for a massage. Her ads were very risque. Come on, they knew what they were doing. You know, if you go in for a massage or even a sensual massage and you expect one thing and something else happens uh, through not any initiation on your own, as I think the evidence will show in most of these cases, I don't think that you buy what has happened to you now. The international media scrutiny uh, having been taped without your knowledge. And the fallout has begun. The former head hockey coach at Kennebunk High School resigned after finding his name on the list, but he has pleaded not guilty. We believe that there's a presumption of innocence. And in this case, it's been the backwards. It's a presumption of guilt, and you have to go prove your innocence. His intention was going for a massage in Kenny Bunk. Um, it turned out that um, he and, and Miss Wright, from his perspective, had a relationship. Wright, the former dance instructor, seen here swinging her hips to a salsa beat, no comment, has been charged with more than 100 counts of prostitution, violation of privacy, and tax evasion. Not guilty. Her attorney is adamant her client is innocent. It's been tough. There's been a lot of scrutiny. Getting through the day in any sort of normal way has been difficult. Um, she's doing the best she can. She's certainly worried about what's going to happen through the criminal process. We went to Wright's house back in October looking for answers. Hello, is anybody home? You don't want to talk about the allegations? Absolutely not. Did you do it? Comment. Did you run a prostitution ring? You know what? I will pick up the phone and I will call the police. It is a scandal that has ripped apart a small town and destroyed lives and reputations. 
At the center of it, the woman who has yet to tell her story, Alexis Wright, who has everyone talking. As for Mark Strong Sr., he says he will spend the rest of his life apologizing to his wife. I'm sorry for any dishonesty for the, the intimate relationship that I had with uh, Alexis Wright. For Nightline, I'm John Schriffen in Kennebunk, Maine.